What's good, YouTube? This is Knowledge for the Butch Femme Discussion. This week, we are going to be having a freestyle topic, which means we're free to discuss whatever we like, and we can be as silly and or as boring as we like to be. So I'm going to go either or, depending on how you receive this, and I decided to recite one of my poems. Um, this will be the third one that I've recited for video, and I hope you really like it. It's called 360 Degrees of Us. Countless times she told me she loved me. I told her in due time she'd show me she loved me. And then there was this, our souls mating in destiny, for she insisted that our past lives were destined to be. She claimed we had been together all throughout history. In one life I broke her heart, in another I saved her. I dug us. I was our savior. Bezos Papi, she'd whisper in my ear. She practiced the art of love and had me forgetting my fears. Always happy to release and had dance flowing in her bloodstream. From practice routines to stepstone memories. And damn, I never got the chance to hear her sing. Though set in my ways, she had thoughts of protesting. My previous broken hearts and a silliness that thrilled me. Loved the way she beckoned me with cooking and laundry. We just fit. There were times when I'd start to message her and instead receive her text message to me. I didn't need weed, y'all. She kept me buzzed for weeks. While I listened to Nas, she played her favorite Donnie. I was an academic hustler and she a dancing beauty. It moved me. We sit in her crib and chill. Her essence just blew me. She claimed that she would love me unconditionally, but I was too busy kissing another with my addictive tongue. I was her karma from former past deeds she'd done, but my kisses would always end on her lips where she'd whisper, I love you, she'd say, and I thought she'd always remember. I was her rough diamond and she my constant fixation. I was her earthly comfort and she my angel in heaven. The next lifetime I make amends, a full circle in seven. So I just want to thank you guys for tuning in with me on this video. I did not make a video last week because I had so much going on. I didn't have time. I didn't want to rush through another video. So I decided to postpone the video, not post. And, um, and I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. What's up, y'all? I'm just coming at you from the crib today. Number one, you're not in the crib. Unless you live in your car. I'm coming at you from the carousel. I'm coming at you from the car shizzle. I'm coming at you from the whipizzle. I'm coming at you from the hoopty. Is you know what I'm saying? The hoop, the is, the crazid, you know, uh, bullshit. He's making a funny sound on the front end, right? Kind of like it just like something's cranking and it looks like something's going right? And then it felt like I ran over something like something, and then I looked in my rear view mirror and I saw something roll across the road. I thought a little, I So I think something fell off under my car. I don't know what it is. And I, I <laughs> so my conundrum with the car is that like I was driving down the highway the other day and it was there's some rattling going on underneath the car and I thought it was due to all the construction that's been going on because there's lots of um, paving of the roads and I thought like my car picked up some of the coal bits you know the, the tar bits from when they do the fresh pavement and um, I thought that was the reason that was rattling around because I mean that's happened before so I figure okay it'll once it comes undone from the crevices that it's probably lodged in everything will be cool but uh yeah the other day I was riding down the, the expressway and a piece of metal came off of my car a very small piece I'm not really even sure what the piece goes to um, seem like like a screw bit or some kind of little screw part or something like that 
But um, it just dropped out, and I saw it roll back when I looked out the back window, or the, uh, the mirror. And um, yeah, it was, it was messed up, and I was really nervous riding home, uh, but I knew, knew I needed to get home. I mean, none of the shops were open at that point. Do you not see? Do you not see? Do you not see my shine? Do you not see my shine? Do you not see this natural Mother Earth bling bling I'm dropping down on ya? <laughs> Is the reason that a lot of you guys, you ladies should I say, are with studs is because you would rather not be with someone who could be considered prettier than you or you won't you don't want to be with someone who primps more than you I mean I'm hearing I'm hearing some conflicting <laughs> things and I'm, I'm trying to get to the bottom of this so y'all need to let me know something stat okay YouTube I almost forgot the question that I originally sought to ask when I um, first started making the video. The question is, how do you feel about your own self-image? Are you a confident person where you put it all out there or do you constantly hold something back? Are you reserved? I feel that in my issues with my self-image, I can put it all out there when I'm writing, but I'm extremely reserved when it comes to um, just being in a large social social setting and it's not I don't know it's it's not that I'm just I have like social anxiety to the point that I, I can't function it's just I think it, a person like me it takes me a while to warm up to people and I think it takes people a while to warm up to me too probably as a result of me taking so fucking long myself and the flip side of that is that when I do know a person or people intimately such as my friends, family, woo woo woo, whatever, I'm completely myself. Yet I still find myself holding back and reserving in some ways. So do you guys find yourself in the position of holding back even when it comes to those who love you and those who you love? Um, do you have issues with self-image? Um, have those issues stopped you from doing something that you really wanted to do that had to do with other people or just putting yourself out there like on a, uh, a networking site like YouTube. I'm just really curious because you know a lot of times we go through things and we think that we're the only one. Obviously we're not. We're, you know our mind is tricking us but I've been on YouTube for many years and I've never made, made a video and it's not that I never had the desire to do so but I definitely um, got that kick that I needed with this butch femme discussion. Seriously, just let me know how you feel. I, I know I keep getting off track here, so let me end this now. Tell me how you feel. Tell me, you know, your experience or whatever. Or not, you know, just do something. Peace.